Good morning, class. Today we're going to be starting a new project, but looking at the same artist of Kandinsky. Now, if you remember, we have looked at Kandinsky's art of his circles, and we worked on coloring really, really well our circles in, and tracing circles, and just filling in the whole space with color, just like Kandinsky loved color. And today we're going to be transforming some circles through cutting into um, a different kind of artwork that's a little bit different than his. We're going to make a tree out of his circles. So we're going to go back to our supplies. You're going to have a lot of paper cutting and gluing in this project. So we've got to make sure we're thinking about how to hold our scissors. Where we have our thumb on the top and two or three fingers in the bottom. We move our hand very little. I remember when we're using our glue stick or glue bottle, you want to make sure that we're not squishing it all out like that. And we're only using as much as we need to. Don't want to make a big mess out of this. So the first thing you're going to, you're going to have all these at your papers at your tables. The first thing you're going to do is cut the green. The green is your grass and we're going to be fringing it. So I've got my fingers in my scissors. I'm just going to do one cut. That's all I need. It's just one snip. I don't need to do it a second time. And I'm going to make grass. Now if you want your grass to be really short, you could do little short snips. Maybe you mowed the lawn recently. But I haven't mowed the lawn recently, so I'm going to do long grass. And cut it all the way across. I'm not going down, so I cut it in half. I even like to crinkle it up. I think it makes it look good. Got all my grass cut, and I crinkle it a little bit just to make sure you can see it. Oh, look at that crazy grass. Once I've got my grass cut, I'm going to open my glue stick. Make sure we're sharing our glue nicely. And just do one line all the way across, like that. Put my lid back on, click. And now I'm going to hold it down and count to 20. Got to count to 20, otherwise it's probably going to fall off. So you got to make sure you're squishing it down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, the trunk of my tree. So I've got this long trunk. If you ever wanted to like trim it a little bit, you could do that. If you wanted to trim your trunk, that's fine. I think my trunk is pretty good the way it is. And I'm going to put one line of glue on the back of here, all the way down. Close my glue lid after every time. We don't want it to dry out. And I'm going to stick it behind my grass, not in front. Behind my grass. And hold it down for 20 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to make my grass look a little more crinkly in front. Sweet. And the last thing we're going to glue down today, we're not going to add the leaves today, all those circles, are these branches. Now you may get four branches. One, two, three, four, five branches, or six branches, but don't get more than six branches, please. Six branches, more than enough. I'm going to stick, I think, with five branches. I think six is too much for my tree. And I'm going to just put a line of glue on a branch and stick it on. Hold it down. Line of glue on a branch. Stick it on. Oh, and you see I didn't hold it long enough, so it's sticking up. And do the same thing with all your branches. I'm putting the bigger part of my branch closer to the trunk of my tree. 
because that's how real branches are. It's thicker when it's closer to that big trunk. Hold those down. And my last branch. Maybe I want this branch to be a little bit smaller so I could cut it. You know, if you don't like my branches, you cut your own branches. It's fine, just fine. Maybe I don't want it to be pointy. Either. Perfect. Once you have finished this part of the cutting and gluing down your tree trunk and branches, uh, and you still have a little bit of extra time in class, you can take some crayons and decorate the background a little bit. So maybe I've got a white and I want to do some clouds. Maybe there's a sun up here. Maybe I want to draw some flowers. flowers down here. Oh, I can see those better. I like that. Maybe you want to draw bunnies or an animal, maybe a monkey in a tree. Now remember, we are going to be adding circles up here, so it's, it might cover up some of the stuff we've drawn, but that's okay. You can draw extra details if you have time, and then write your name, of course, in the grass or on the back. your turn.